Hello there folks, Nathan here, hope you're all well and welcome back to Food and Drink Reviews here on my channel where today we are looking at a beverage. Yes indeed, I thought I would cut back on the uh, the edible reviews for for the time being and focus more on a few beverages and I thought today we could do an alcoholic beverage. Now, just before this video does get underway, I would just like to say that any reviews I do of alcoholic beverages are purely for the purpose of review and opinion. I'm not here to encourage the consumption of alcohol. And I would like to stress, very importantly, please, please only consume alcohol if you are of the legal age to do so. And please don't exceed the recommended dose per man or woman. Please only drink the recommended amount uh, for, well, for your own health as well. So, with that being said, I haven't had a drink for quite a while actually. It's been a few weeks. And I was uh, out shopping yesterday and I came across this. Yes, indeed. It is, uh, well, I don't know what it is. I'm guessing it's some kind of ale, but it's called Old Crafty Hen. Now, I've had Old Speckled Hen in the past, and that was, uh, I think that's a very dark ale. This one looks a bit lighter. Uh, there was another one as well I've had. Um, is it Old Rusty Hen? Is it Old Rusty Hen? I might have had that somewhere or uh, Old Golden Hen or something like that. I think there's another one. I'd have to have a look. Maybe let me know in the comments if you know. But anyway, I'm not too sure what this is. So we're going to have a look. So you can see there, that's the front of the bottle. I do have my uh, magnifying glass off to the side. And I will have a look myself. So, yes, this one's called Old Crafty Hen. Um, I definitely have had another one before. Um, it was either Old Golden Hen or Old Rusty Hen or something like that. Um, and, of course, I've had Old Speckled Hen. Uh, but let's give this a go, shall we? So, uh, let's say special, special signature... Special signature blend, five times. Uh, dark and malty, smooth and satisfying. It's called Old Crafty Hen. Oak aged, strong ale. So this is an ale, and it says it's a strong ale. It's 6.5% volume. It's got uh, alcohol. 6.5%. It's quite strong. Old Crafty Hen. We take our legendary five times strong ale aged gently in oak vats for many months and blend it with old speckled hen to create this masterpiece, a perfectly crafted premium ale bursting with malt, toffee and dried fruit notes. Enjoy responsibly. Uh, so you could visit their website there, www.enjoyresponsibly.co.uk. Uh, 3.3 UK units, that's what this bottle is. Alcohol, 6.5% uh, 6 volume. It's very hard to read. Enjoy chilled. Well, this is chilled. It's been in the, the refrigerator all night. Yeah, it's hard for me to read because it's uh, gold writing on uh, a black background. And obviously I've got the, uh, the light on this magnifying glass, which uh, doesn't... Well, on this occasion, it doesn't really help. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, 14 units. Do not regularly regularly drink more than 14 units per week. So know your limits. Um, of course, it is different for females, I believe. 
as they are slightly more precious than us males. But uh, there we go. So uh, that's pretty much all I can gather from it. So um, this is going to be interesting. So let's get her opened up and uh, have a look. So I've got a uh, plastic pint glass here. Well, it's not a glass. It's a well, it's meant to be a pint glass. It's a plastic pint glass left over from the Christmas party last year. And of course, we're going to need a bottle opener. So I've got this one. And look at that. <laughs> it's meant to look like a German Stein of beer. Looks so realistic, doesn't it? Apart from the head, I think the head's a little bit too big. So let's... Uh, there we go. Let's get it open and have a look. Oh, oh, it smells nice. Oh yeah, it smells really nice. I tell you what, it reminds me of you know you you first walk into a pub. You walk into a pub or a bar, and like the the aroma of the of the beers and that hits you. That's what this is like. Now it's strange because the aroma I'm getting from this smells a bit like lager or beer. But this isn't, you know, it, this isn't beer, it's ale. So let's see, uh, let's see if I can remember from my old days of helping at the King's Arms in Harbour. Let's see if I can uh, pour a pint properly. Now, I don't know with ale. I know with lager, you are supposed to tilt the glass. I don't know with this, though. Are you meant to tilt the glass? Doesn't look too bad, does it? I don't know if I'm going to get the whole bottle in. And then usually as it starts filling, you very slowly bring the glass back up like that. Okay, uh, there's a tiny, tiny bit left in the bottle, but uh, I'm not going to risk... Uh, a spillage. We don't want a spillage, do we? But I tell you what, that's not bad. I don't think that's too bad, you know. It's got a little bit of a head on it. At least you can see what it looks like. I'll just hold it like that. Right up against the camera, you can see. It's like a very deep, it's a very light brown. Well, not very, very light brown, but it's a it's a brownish colour, and you've got this like cream coloured head at the top. Uh, it seems to be settling. Uh, in fact, go on, there's literally um, a tiny mouthful left in the bottle. So I'd... there we go. So we're... there we go. We've got the whole bottle there. Um, now I'm not gonna rush this you know i'm gonna i'm gonna have this with my lunch because uh, it is saturday it is the weekend why not so i'm gonna have this with my lunch i think so there you go so the whole bottle has fitted into this pint glass so there is i would say that is possibly a pint size bottle there is uh, uh exactly one pint in there it's filled the glass up obviously as you can see the head is slowly disappearing so uh, i think we need to get on with this don't we before it just becomes as flat as a witch's well i won't say it but um yes i think you know what i mean so let's give it a go shall we so this is old speck it's not old speckled hen it's mixed with old speckled hen this is old crafty hen uh, this is a strong ale. So, oh, yes. Without further ado, I think it's time to give it a go. Now, there is a, a fascinating gentleman who I follow on TikTok um, who goes by the name of Lincoln. And he uh, reviews different types of uh, alcoholic beverages on uh, TikTok. Not too sure what his last name is. I know his first name is Lincoln. And uh, before he takes a drink, he always says, may I say cheers? 
And I think I'm going to say exactly the same thing. So here we go with Old Crafty Hen. And may I say, cheers. Mmm. Very interesting. It does remind me of Old Speckled Hen, actually. I've got to say, it's much nicer than John Smith's. I'm sorry, Grandad Murray, but it's true. And that's usually my drink of choice when I'm, when I'm, I'm out. Um, if a, a pub is selling John Smith's, I'll always have a pint. Because uh, I, I do like, I prefer my ales and stouts and bitters rather than uh, lager because I find lager or beer very bloating and cider just gives me heartburn. So uh, I find that this is, uh, this is the right thing for me to drink. Hmm. Am I getting any aftertaste for that? Not really. Not really describe what it tastes like, to be honest. Uh, just your your standard ale, very. Uh, hmm. Hmm, yeah. Interesting, yeah, it just, like I said, it, I think it just tastes like old old speckled hen, which is it's just similar to any kind of ale that uh, I've drank before. Um, it is a bit stronger, though. I can tell it is stronger. Uh, it's got a slight, slight bitter edge to it. So I'd say, excuse me. I would say this does remind me more of a, a bitter rather than an ale. Uh, but I can't really describe to you, if you were to ask me, well, what does it taste like? I can't really describe it. I mean, if, you've, if you haven't tried ale, I can't really give you an example or well, if you have tried ale, then all I can all I can really tell you to do is use your imagination. You know, think about what ale tastes like, and then just add a um, a hint of bitterness to it, and that's kind of what you're left with. It's a very strong ale. But it's very nice all the same. It is very, uh, very nice. I mean, I don't have uh, old speckled hen or anything often. In fact, I haven't had that since. Uh, well, there was a pub in Bearwood that we used to go to, me and my friends, and they had it on draft there, old speckled hen. So that's where I first tried it. And someone on my channel actually asked me if I could review it. And I, I think a few months back, well, say a few months, rather last year or the year before, I'd have to have a look back. Um, I did actually review Old Speckled Hen. Uh, but obviously this is Old Crafty Hen. So, uh, hmm. Interesting. Well, as you can see, I'm pretty tongue-tied, to be honest. I, I can't really... Uh, I can't really gather anything else from it. Um, all I will say is it's uh, it's very smooth, as ales tend to be. That You know, they're not overly gassy, as you can see. It doesn't appear to be that many uh, air bubbles in there. Well, there isn't. It's It's smooth. Oh, there's a few. There's a few. If I hold it up to the 
hold it up to the light. I don't know whether you'll be able to see that on camera. They're very small. There's a few bubbles rising, uh, but not many. So it's not really gassy. It's down quite smooth, but obviously that strong flavour does kick in. So it sort of, you know, sort of gets your gag reflex going, thinking, oh, gosh, I better not drink too much of that in one go. But on the whole, it's very nice, and it's still nice and cool as well from being in the fridge all night. So uh, it did say that on the bottle, uh, best served chilled, and that's what we've done. But there you go, folks. That's uh, pretty much all I can gather from it. So uh, I would recommend you try it if you haven't. Uh, of course, obviously only under the... Uh, only under the conditions that I said at the beginning of the video. Only if you're uh, age appropriate to drink, of course. You've got to be the legal age. Uh, I believe in the USA it's 21. In the UK it's 18. I'm not too sure about other countries. Uh, I should imagine it probably probably be the same. Rather 18 or 21. I'm not too sure. But yes, there you go. If you are old enough to try it, give it a try. Maybe maybe this is what you drink. Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know uh, if there's anything else you'd like me to try. Uh, I am currently on the hunt for Prime. Uh, it's gone massive on social media lately. Everyone's going mad for it. I am on the hunt for Prime, uh, so I will do that at some point on this channel. As soon as I can get hold of some, I will I will definitely get hold of some. Even if I have to order it online, I will get some because everyone's going mad for it. And I want to I want to try it as well, especially for YouTube. So in terms of this video, I really haven't got anything else to say on this matter. So uh, I think I'm going to round it up here. And just by saying uh, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comments section. Let me know what you'd like to see me try next, whether it's alcoholic or non-alcoholic. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have subscribed, thank you very much for your support. It's greatly appreciated. And don't forget to share the channel as well and try and get me some more likes, comments and subscribers. You can also follow me on TikTok if you wish at NathanHughes.29 and I am also on Instagram at HughesNath.29. Uh, so if you would like to uh, follow me on social media, you are more than welcome to. But uh, let's be nice, folks. Let's be nice, shall we? But there you go. And until the next video, whenever or whatever that may be, it just remains for me to say, take care, stay safe. And as Grandad Murray used to say, stay happy. And I will see you. Sorry, my phone just vibrated then, in case you're wondering what I've done. And what do, what was I going to say? I've lost what I was going to say then. That made me jump. Until the next video. Yes, I was just going to say that. Stay safe, stay happy. And from here in the UK, the time is currently 10 past 1 in the afternoon. So I would like to wish you a very good afternoon.